سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبوس الدموع أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شالي صدري ويسل لي أمري واهل لقدد من لساني يفق القولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss Isra and Miraj. In this video, we will discuss the context of the event of Isra and Miraj. What is the meaning of Isra and Miraj? We will discuss the journey of Isra from Makkah to Jerusalem. And then we will discuss Miraj, that is ascension from Jerusalem to heavens. And we will also discuss seventh heaven and beyond. And in the end, we will discuss the important lessons. So let's start. So first of all, we will discuss the historical context. So the wife and the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi they died in the same year. That was the year of grief and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam. he was going through the most difficult time of his life and the people of Makkah, they have also rejected his message and he sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam, he went to Taif, that was the second largest city of that time and the people of Taif, they threw stones at Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. So they physically hurt, wounded and uh, the Prophet and his feet, they were filled with blood. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, he prayed to God Almighty for his divine help and support. God Almighty responded to the prayer of his Prophet and he sent Angel Jibrail and the angel of mountains to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and they asked him that if he wishes they will crush the whole city of Taif so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam he was the mercy for the whole of mankind he did not approve it and he said even if the people of Taif they did not accept his message maybe their future generations they will accept his message and they will become muslims if god wills so in this way prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam forgave the people of taif and he saved them from the punishment of god almighty so this was the most difficult time of his life uh, his wife and his uncle they died and his message was also rejected by the people of Makkah and he went to Taif and they also rejected his message. So there was no way out. So at this point, the event of Isra and Miraj took place in which God Almighty invited Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam to show his signs. So one night, the angel Jibrail, the Holy Spirit, he came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and he took him for a night journey on an animal called Burak. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, he uh, traveled from Makkah to Jerusalem and he took four stops as mentioned in Nasai Hadith number 450. So, stop number one was Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam stopped and prayed in Medina Al Munawwara, which would be his place of migration. Stop number two, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam stopped and prayed in Mount Sinai, that is Koetur, where God Almighty spoke to Prophet Musa Alaihi Salam. Moses peace be upon him. Stop number three, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stopped and prayed in 
the birth city of Jesus Christ, son of Mary, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, that is the city of Bethlehem. And the stop number four was in Al-Aqsa, where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he led the prayers of all the prophets. So these were the four stops in the night of journey, that is Isra. Then the ascension, Miraj, happened when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then ascended from Jerusalem, from the place of Dome of the Rock, to heavens. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam met several prophets while he was ascending with Angel Jibrail, the Holy Spirit, to heavens. As mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 3887. So, Prophet wasallam met Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, in the first heaven. He wasallam met Prophet Isa, salam, Jesus, and also Prophet Yahya, John the Baptist, in the second heaven. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam met Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, jo Joseph in the third heaven. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam met Prophet Idris alayhi salam in the fourth heaven. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam met Prophet Harun alayhi salam in the fifth heaven. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam met Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Moses, peace be upon him, in the sixth heaven. And he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam met Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam in the seventh heaven. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was further taken up to a place uh, where he saw Baitul Mamur, that is the Kaaba of the heavens. And uh, he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam asked Jibreel alayhi salam about it and he said this is Baitul Mamur in which 70,000 angels they pray, they make tawaf every day and then they leave and they never come back so Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam he saw Baitul Mamur in the 7th heaven then he was further taken up to a place called Sidratul Muntaha, that is the place of holy tree. As mentioned in Nasai Hadith number 448, Prophet wasallam saw Angel Jibrail, the Holy Spirit, in its original form at Sidratul Muntaha, according to Sahih Muslim Hadith number 174C. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was also shown paradise as mentioned in Sahih Muslim hadith number 163. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam saw many great signs of God at Sajratul Muntaha and this is mentioned in Quran chapter number 53 Surah Najm verse number 13 to 18. Then God Almighty spoke with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam from behind the divine veil as mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 4855. God Almighty said to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam on the night of ascension that is Miraj that every good deed will be rewarded as 10 times and 5 prayers they were made mandatory, obligatory on all the Muslims so those 5 prayers they are equivalent to 50 prayers that means every single prayer is equivalent to 10 prayers so 5 prayers are equivalent to 50 prayers as mentioned in Sahih Al-Bukhari this number 7517 so what are the important lessons from this journey of 
اسرائن میراج لیسن نمبر ون الاقسا اینڈ اٹس سراؤنڈنگس دے آر بلیسڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو قرآن چیپٹر سیونٹین ورس نمبر ون اٹ ہیز اے گریٹ ہیلنگ افیکٹ اینڈ وین پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم واز گوئنگ تھرو دا موسٹ ڈفیکلٹ ٹائم آف ہز لائف ہی میڈ دس جرنی آف اسرا اینڈ ہی ٹریولڈ فرام مکہ ٹو جیروسلم سو وی آل شوڈ ٹریول ٹو الاقسا اف وی ایور گیٹ اے چانس سو لیسن نمبر ٹو از پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ہی لیڈ دا پریئرس آف آل دا پروفیٹس ہی لیڈ دیم ان سلا ان الاقسا which means that the religion of all prophets is the same god is one he has only sent one religion that is islam islam means peace or submission by uh, uh peace acquired by submission to almighty god and the religion of all the prophets is same that is islam and they are all muslims so the religion of moses is islam and he was a muslim The religion of Jesus was Islam and he was a Muslim. Similarly, the religion of all prophets is the same. It's one religion, that is Islam, and they are all Muslims. And that is why they prayed behind Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Lesson number three is Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he traveled from Makkah to Jerusalem and he ascended from Jerusalem to heavens in natural and physical body and almost around 600 years or 600 to 650 years before Jesus also ascended to heavens from Jerusalem and uh, when he ascended he he was ascended in natural and physical body he was not ascended in resurrected or spiritualized body in other words he was ascended alive and similarly when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam came later and traveled to the city of jesus and he ascended from the city of jesus alive this also confirms that god saved jesus and he was ascended alive lesson number 4 is god almighty has given a special gift to this umma through prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam on the night of ascension that is miraj and the gift is whosoever intends to do a good deed and does not do it will still have a good deed recorded for him and if he does it then it will be recorded as 10 times as mentioned in sahih al uh, sahih al muslim this number 162 a that means if i intend to build a mosque and if my intention is pure then even if i am not able to do it due to any reason i will still get the reward and similarly if i intend to do a hajj and if i am not able to do it i still get the reward if my intention is pure i still get the reward as if i already did it but when i actually do it then it will be like 10 times reward so this is a special gift only for the umma of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and the last lesson from this journey is that god almighty does not burden any soul beyond his or her capacity as mentioned in quran in the last two verses of surah al baqara chapter 2 verse number 285 and 286 with this we have reached the end of our discussion thank you all for watching this video take care till next video allah hafiz assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh